So as we see that Grignard reagents have a very wide range of application in the production of alcohols. It can be used on aldehydes. It can be used on ketones. It can be used on esters. Even epoxides. Fine. Okay. So let's uh, deal some questions. So if we have formaldehyde with us and we have CH3 Mg X. So what do we get? This nucleophile attacks this nucleophilic center. We are left with H. O minus MgX H CH3. Okay. Now if we change this formaldehyde to so now let's watch. So that if we hydrolyze this compound, we are left with a one degree alcohol. Alright. So that alcohol will be ethanol. Right? CH3, CH2, OH. Okay, now if we change the substrate from formaldehyde to acetaldehyde, what happens? This is what we get. Okay, now this time we'll get 2 propanol as our product when we hydrolyze this compound. Okay, 2 propanol. Now, again, changing this to a ketone, acetone in particular in this case, so we are left with. When we hydrolyze this, we are left with CH3 C O H CH3 CH3 a 3 degree alcohol. In this case, 2 methyl prop propan to all. 2 methyl Propan to all. All right. So this is a three degree alcohol that we got. Okay. Now taking up a case of ester. This is what we get. We take up a very simple ester. Okay. We have CH three MgX in excess. So. This is what we get, CH3. I, I'll I'll skip some steps in between. Okay. So, this is what we get. Okay. Again, if we have, so let me make it uh, C2H5. So it will be more evident. Okay. That which group leaves or what is going on actually. Again, we have C2H5 MgX. Okay. So. We are left with CH3 and further hydrolysis. We are left with OH ET. ET. Okay. This is how an ester reacts with a Grignard reagent. Okay. Fine. Alright. One another very important mode of preparation is from. Hydrolysis of alkyl halides. Okay, so the general reaction is like this: alkyl halide plus OH minus, or we can use water. We are left with ROH plus X minus, or HX. If we use water, we have HX. If we use a simply a base, we have X minus. Right? So, when an alkyl halide reacts with water, we are left with an alcohol and a base uh, and an acid. Okay? Alkyl halide reacts with a water, we have alcohol and an acid. Okay? And it's a very simple reaction. So, 
I think you have done this before in the chapter alkyl and aryl halides, haloalkenes, haloarenes. Okay, fine. Uh, now a very simple and yet elegant method of preparation of alcohols is from carbonyl compounds. Okay, reduction of carbonyl. So, when are these processes used? These these processes are used when the carbonyl compound is more found in nature or can be easily prepared by uh, organic processes rather than the alcohols. So we prepare the carbonyl compounds first, and then we reduce it to alcohols. So the reducing agents are. Most famous or the most widely used reducing agents in this case are lithium, aluminium, hydride, better known as LAH, sodium borohydride, NaBH4. Okay, we can use H2Ni that is activated hydrogenation or use can use sodium in ethanol okay so these are the popularly used re uh, reducing agents that are used to reduce carbonyl compounds to the corresponding alcohols so let's have a deep look on how lithium aluminium hydride reduces carbonyl compounds into alcohols so let's let's assume that we have this carbonyl compound we have lithium aluminium hydride so this is what happens lithium aluminium hydrides work is to produce h minus ions okay so now this h minus ions act as nucleophiles okay so these nucleophiles now attack on this nucleophilic center as usual okay so this is what happens we are left with c o minus l i a l h3 plus okay and 1 h all right now this thing continues Okay, now we are left with alright. So as we saw in the case of hydroboration oxidation, in the in the process of hydroboration. So a kind of similar thing was happening in there. Okay, when a single molecule of BH3 was combining with, was reducing basically, uh, was was getting attached to three moles, of, three molecules of PR that we saw in that case, three molecules of that alkene. Okay, S uh, same is the case over here when one molecule of lithium aluminium hydrides, as you can see that it can generate four. H minus ions, so H minus ions, so each H minus ion is is reducing one each carbonyl compound, okay, uh, whatever it may be. So with uh, one molecule of lithium aluminium hydride, we can reduce four molecules of carbonyl compound. When we further Add H plus to it, we are left with four molecules of alcohol. Okay, so this is a very strong reducing agent which reduces carbonyl compounds to corresponding alcohols. Okay, fine.